Hey my little love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I wanted to go ahead and upload this look. I had it done a while back, but I wasn't able to, you know, put it together for you guys. So here it is. It's very soft, perfect for the winter time. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to go ahead and start off with priming my eyes with the... Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just applying it all over my eyes like so, using my fingers. Now I'm gonna go into this very light orange color. It's sort of red. It's from Makeup Forever. It's from their old uh, Makeup Forever eyeshadow line. They had a huge sale, so I snatched all the colors. And I'm just applying this in my crease area with a fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going in with a shimmery red color. It's more of a maroon tone, and I'm using a flat brush to apply this all over my lid. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is going to be a smoky eye, so just make sure that the color is nice and intense. Now I'm taking a very bright red tone and I'm applying it on the outer corner of my eye just to give it that nice faded effect. I want it to look like a very nice red smoky eye, so I want the transition shade to be red as well. I'm loving how the transition shade is looking. As you guys can see, it looks very effortless and my trick to this is literally getting your brush with whatever was on it. Don't pick up any more product and blend, blend, blend and that'll give you the most beautiful transition ever. Going back into that same maroon shade and my flat brush, I'm applying it in my inner corner just to help intensify the look. I ended up uh, deciding to do a 3D smoky eye, so I'm bringing the darker shade in my inner corner as well. Now for the halo effect, I'm going to be using a MAC pigment called Melon and it's very pigmented so I'm literally just using whatever was on the top. A little goes a long way and I'm just applying it straight on the center of my eye to give it that nice halo effect. Moving on to the brow bone, I'm using a very light creamy shade and I'm applying this color with a fluffy blending brush under my brow bone. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua Black Gel Eyeliner and I'm using a MAC um, eyeliner brush. It's my favorite brush, the 263. I have yet to put out a eyeliner video, but if you guys want me to do an eyeliner tutorial for you guys, please leave it in the comments down below. I'm going to go ahead and set my bottom eyeliner with a black eyeshadow using a flat brush just to help set it. It just makes it last a lot longer. To smoke out my bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with that same brush, go into the intense red color that we used as our transition shade. I'm going to apply that underneath my eye to give it that nice smoked out look. Now using my It Cosmetics blending brush, I'm just blending away any harsh edges to make it look nice and, you know, what is the word? Just smoky. I like it to look very seamless and I just think it looks beautiful. So moving on to the liquid liner part, I always love to go over my gel liners with a liquid liner to help seal it. It looks shiny and it just looks, it looks finished to me when I have the liquid liner. It locks it all in place. For lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes Nor Fairy in black, obviously, and I love these lashes. It makes my look complete and super easy to put on. I know it has a thick band, so it's a little hard for those of you guys who are new at applying lashes, but with a little practice, you guys can put it on in no time. So the eyes are done. This is it. Moving on to the face, I'm going to go ahead and use the Bobbi Brown foundation stick to go ahead and contour my face. So I didn't even put on foundation. I just straight went to doing the highlighting and contouring. And then I pretty much 
thought it was a bad idea and I just went in with my Laura Mercier um, foundation and just rubbed it all over my face the Bobbi Brown foundation stick was a little too thick for me so I really didn't like it I just took a ton of my foundation and just put it all over my face and it seemed to do the trick for me I have a habit of applying my foundation with my hands. I feel like I get a much more natural finish and I love using brushes as well, but honestly, I don't think I had any face brushes that were clean that I wanted to use. So I just went ahead and applied everything with my hand. Now I'm going in and contouring my face. I'm applying the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from IT Cosmetics. I've had this for so long and haven't been able to use it so I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out well actually I know how it turns out because I filmed this a while ago it turned out amazing I loved it and I'm contouring with the Bobbi Brown foundation stick and I'm doing a funky design because everyone has been doing all these crazy contouring uh, style so I thought hey why not let's go ahead and do some contour artwork on my face so this is what I came up with I just did some jagged edges so it's kind of like teeth in my opinion but you guys can pretend and have it be whatever you want so I'm going and contouring my nose I'm just doing um, dots and then doing the jagged little um, teeth marks as well same thing with under my lip and I'm also contouring that part too and then for my cheeks I actually went in with a NARS blush it was a blush stick so it was completely cream and I applied those on the apples of my cheeks and I decided to just go ahead and blend everything out because everyone else seems to do it and it looks so flawless but I don't know to me I honestly didn't like how it looked so I just thought I'd show you guys how the whole process went for me so yeah if you guys are trying fun techniques like these like the contouring techniques that are really fun and artsy and the end result doesn't turn out the way you want it just be patient because Honestly, it happens to all of us. We end up looking like a hot mess, but just know that you have to follow through. Just be patient. Just be sure to blend everything out on your face before you give up because you never know once it's all done. So I'm just blending away and making sure that I get rid of every little artwork that I put on my face. So now I'm blending out my nose, the highlight on my nose to make sure that you know it's standing out because I want a thin nose. I love how it looks and I'm using a blending brush to blend out my nose contour. I didn't feel like I got that nice highlight so I'm just going back in with the um, Bobbi Brown foundation stick and brightening a little more under my eyes and yeah so this is how it looks like after I did it and you know I don't know I feel like I could contour a little more so I whipped out my Anastasia contour kit of course I love it I went in with the lightest shade and put those under my eyes went into my contour shade and carved out my cheekbones so I could get that nice cheekbone and I also applied this all over the perimeter of my face just so it looks very nice and now I'm liking how it looks as you guys can see I'm really happy I moved on to my lips so I'm really happy with how my face looks for my lips I'm using the Anastasia liquid lipstick and I think it's pure Hollywood I'm not sure but I wanted to do a very nude lip I wanted it to be matte I wanted all the attention to be on my eyes and I just love how this looks it's so beautiful it's not overpowering or anything. Everything just looks amazing. Alrighty, that is my face. As you guys can see, I'm whipping out the MAC Give Me Sun. Oh, yes, give me rays of sun, baby, all on my cheeks. 
I love bronzing up my cheekbones with this. It just gives it that life. And I'm going in with this highlight. It's like a bronzing highlight from Mud. And I'm just going to town on my cheekbones because I just love, love, love how it looks. This is the fi final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.